Welcome back to Island Metal Forge. All right, next up on the list is the striking anvil. All right, now if all you can do is find a scrapyard and you're not willing to drop a few hundred on an anvil, like on a London pattern anvil that may be in your area, or you're saving up for it, um, a good option is to get a few bits of plate steel or a good, you know, chunk of steel weld some legs onto it uh, if you have the ability to drill a hole and make yourself a hardy that'll be uh, real handy for the striking anvil you know once you get a full anvil plus it's always nice to have a hardy um, you want this a little bit lower than your main anvil all right because well you're swinging a sledgehammer at it you know when used properly it doesn't have to be anything but mild steel, right? But if if it's all you can get, this can be used as an actual production anvil, you know, uh, if need be, in a pinch. You know, you've got the nice radius edge, solid piece of steel. Let's hit something with it. All right, just like the other videos, rail spike. I'm going to taper and round off the edge. Works like a dream and becomes super useful later on for drifting hammers and, you know, making large items, all sorts of reasons. But I recommend you get yourself a striking anvil. If you've been following the channel for a while now, like since the beginning, since my earlier videos, you may remember this right here. This is Bakos. Um, it stands for Big Ass Chunk of Steel and it is exactly that actually it is three big chunks of steel welded together three two inch plates that have been welded together and stood vertically um, this weighs in without these two uh, attachments weighs in at about 200 pounds uh, well 199 pounds and and a half so 200 pounds uh, I went ahead and welded on this uh, round that I had, uh, drilled a hole in it, 
and weld it on a piece of pipe. These are, you know, for various things, you know, Pritchell hole, kind of a hardy tool, and here you go. But flat, st flat top, mild steel, learning on it, not too worried about dinging up the face. This got me through a lot. Let's put it back to work. I've used this a lot so the face is a bit work hardened. Very nice. I miss using this thing. Alrighty, and there you have it. Uh, two mild steel anvils that work pretty dang well. Now, I'm assuming by this point you've tried some of the other ones or uh, you have been in the community enough and you've been able to, you know, source, uh, figure out how to source, what questions to ask. Go to junkyards, scrapyards, uh, welding shops, ask for drops, and find, you know, chunks of steel. Uh, they make great anvils. You just got to put them together. <laughs> uh, you do what you got to do to get started. You do what you got to do uh, to learn. So don't ever let anybody tell you that you can't do something unless you have blank. I mean, obviously you have to have a an anvil. By definition, an anvil is something that you're striking hot steel against. You know, so, well, not literal definition. Anyway, <laughs> um, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Next up, uh, I'm going to kind of play with some offbeat, off the wall, doubt they're going to work, just, you know, concrete, brick, wood, you know, uh, and go into some of the more creative attempts at anvils. So uh, stay tuned for that one. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for enjoying these. And uh, 
Smoosh that like button, like that smoosh button, like, share, subscribe. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hearts and health.